Welcome back to another awesome video from the Extreme Slayer channel, and we're back with another Extreme Stories video. And today we're bringing to you another exciting story. And today's story is going to be based off something I've been hiding deep in my soul, and those things are my fears. And these are going to be four, I'm going to be telling you today, of four of my greatest fears. Well, some of them may not be great to you, but these really do scare me. And you, you may find and you guys may actually have the same things as me. But if you do, then don't forget to hit that like button, and even leave a comment on what fear do you actually have, and I'll take a look at it. So now, the top four fears. So I'm gonna start off with number four, which is the least, at least on the list, and this one is car accidents. I mean, particularly, you know, walking across the street and. You know, having the fear of being being hit by a car out of nowhere, and this is you know, this this wasn't a problem until about two years ago, when I actually had a close encounter, and what had happened? I was I was walking towards my bus stop, and dividing me from my bus stop is two roads, one of them going for cars going the right way, and the other and the other way for cars going the left way, and I usually just cross the street, going through both streets, but I had to look both ways before I cross. But one day I was not paying attention to the right side, but I paid attention to the other side. And so, without paying attention, I started to proceed to cross the street. Well, however, I wasn't paying attention to this driver was coming out of the opposite direction. And this car was going like, like 50 miles per hour and, and just slid to complete and suddenly slid to complete stop right in front of me. And right there, I turned around. And the car was right there in my face. And I was like, what? What the heck? I mean, the car was really going at 50 miles per hour and it just stops slowly out of nowhere right in front of me. And I'm pretty sure the driver was probably like, haha, gotcha, or whatever. But I was not pleased. Because this driver could have, you know, destroyed me. Like, I mean, he would kill me. But now, to this day, I always keep an eye out for both directions. Even if there's not a car coming, I'll always be looking both ways before crossing the street. Because I'm really scared that another thing like this may happen again. So this is why I'm always careful of crossing the street. Now, to number three. Number three on the list is... Shells on the beach. Well, you guys may think this is actually a rude fear, but I'm telling you, this is actually one of my fears because... For one reason, I always get the feeling of shells actually coming to life. But you usually say, oh, no, that's not true. But in my perception, I'm always imagining regular shells on the beach, but with creatures inside of them. And they're enough to, to really scare me. I mean, I wouldn't even touch a shell. And this is pretty much probably about you guys are like, well, don't be afraid of shells, you dumb, you bum head. Well... What happened if one was actually crawling on your arm right now and actually had a crab in it? How would you feel? Pretty bad. Well, that's the thing I, I had to deal with, but because I, I know for sure before checking the shell that there might be something underneath it. That's why I always think twice before even touching the shell on the beach. Even though I went to one last year, I still was tempted not to do it. So if you if I were you, I'll think twice before touching the shell if you don't want to get really bad injuries. But that's leaves the problems anyways, but down to number two. Number two on the list is Trifophobia. And this one is by far the most creepiest and ugliest of my fears because this is a nasty fear. And I'll tell you what it is. Trifophobia is the fear of small holes, like holes in your skin, and that's one of the worst case scenarios. Even you guys, if you remember from that, in <coughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, uh, yeah, sorry for that. So, back to what I was saying. Again, trypophobia is one of the nastiest by far things that I had to deal with because it really makes my skin crawl and it's just by looking at these ugly pictures of like, even mushrooms on trees really do scare me. <clears throat> oh my, oh, I got to go again. Uh, 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 
yeah, uh, back to what I was saying. So, again, with the, I really hate trypophobia for all this because now it makes it really uncomfortable when I see something that looks really disgusting and it gives me the temptation to say, okay, you gotta back away from this thing, you gotta stay away from that thing. And it gives me the sensation to itch all over because I know if I don't back away, I'll be itching all over. And it's and this even even scares me. Like, cause imagine if I had to go into the a room full of everything trypophobic, like for an hour, I would not even last a second in there. Cause the second you pull me out, I'm gone. I'm totally gone. So don't expect me to last more than a minute in there, because I won't last more than a minute in that room. So don't expect me to be facing my fear, fear of that anytime soon, because I probably won't be, because I'm too scared to face it. Now, down to the number one fear. The one fear that gets me aggravated. Yep, number one. Yeah, so number one is actually the fear of war like nuclear bombs explosions actually happen and this has been petrifying me for the last year like just this is it just really scares me about the fact about you know rumors of war going on I'm saying there's probably gonna be world war three and and this really just scares me because i really don't want to go through another war because i mean i haven't even lived any wars but having to go through a third war that that may end up being in their landmark history just Bull crap. I mean, we don't want another war to happen out of nowhere. Well, because of this guy, for making the wrong decision, I mean, he may, he may, but we still got to watch out because we don't want, you know, us in taking the wrong foot and end up in the, in, in, in the war and even having rockets flying overhead and just dropping nuclear bombs. And that's why I even fear, I even, I even had dreams about this of actual nuclear bombs coming out of nowhere and just dropping weapons over the place. And it really scares me. So if even if you were in the situation, what would you do? Because I don't think you would be able to do anything. Because you know you're dead if that thing drops in your house. So that's why, you know, I'm always, you know, on the edge every now and then. I mean, I'm really watching them. Even for airplanes to fly over our head, I'm always saying, okay, please don't be a warplane. Please don't be a warplane. It really does scare me. And even for you guys, you may be thinking about this. You may, you may be thinking about this right now. It probably may have scared you. So if you're actually thinking of all your fears right now, then this video may have enhanced your vision on fears. But if I did, then I'm sorry because I didn't mean to. But sorry, anyways. But that's it for today's video. I survived it. Anyways, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy this awesome video. And don't forget to always check the playlist of content full of exciting videos since last July. And I'll see you guys in another video next time. Oh, 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 someone took me to the doctor oh, before I pass out.